Hey -o, it's Plan B, and today we are making a little fun thing from Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, if you're like me, you may have grown up in the early to mid 2000s where this fun little card game called Yu-Gi-Oh! had an anime as well. And in that anime, uh, there's one point where they're on an island, kind of, I don't know. It's, it's a weird show. Uh, they're on an island and Pegasus has like these giant satellites that watch them constantly. And uh, I was re-watching Yu-Gi-Oh, got reminded that that thing existed, that satellite, and I was like, hmm, I like that. Let me remake that. So that's what we're doing today. This is a time lapse of me trying to figure out the best way to remake it. It is not a perfect one-to-one, -one, but that being said, I am still kind of happy with the way that it turned out. I enjoy it. Um, and I think that's, you know, what really matters at the end of the, of the build is that I am happy with it. I do have a mod pack installed. You can see me adding the like orbital telescope there. I forgot what the, mod, the mod pack is. I'll put it up here on the screen. Um, but those are additional like science observational items that are added to the game, um, mainly for orbit, but they do have like some scanning arms for rovers on different planets. Um, and you can actually collect science with them. Unfortunately, with the orbit that I put this system into, it doesn't actually function correctly, but it's more of just a headcanon thing anyway, so I think that's fine. I don't know, I'll, I'll put up a picture of the actual satellite that I'm going for over here, and uh, so you can see what I'm kind of going after. I could have tried to make custom flags to add the custom colors needed, uh, but the only flag that I added was just the Industrial Illusions, the I squared flag, which is all you really need. Um, anyway, that's more or less the background of this build. I like the way it turned out, although it's not really feasible and logical for this to be something that you use uh, for you know any actual science. But it's a nice little headcanon thing, and it's a nostalgic piece of like my my childhood. So. Um, but it's been a while, and uh, and if you've made it this far after that rant, I appreciate you still being here. Uh, but yeah, it's been a while. Lots of change, new jobs, lots of new things going on, and um, I just needed a step away from KSP for a while. I kind of just burnt myself out with how much I was playing the game. And I think I finally got over that amount that I was playing it to where I kind of want to start playing it again, but I don't want to just jump right into it. There's that I squared logo that I was on about. Uh, I don't want to just start playing it again like at 100% like I was previously. So I'm going to try to shoot for playing and making one video a month and trying to release that. I have this video coming out now. Obviously, you're watching it. Welcome to YouTube. Um, but I do have another one that I actually filmed months and months and months ago. Um that I just need to cut voiceover and publish. So this will be my one video for this month and then I should hopefully be able to start creating a backlog where it should just auto-populate and I don't have to stress too much. But we'll see how well that does. Uh, but for the moment, I think I'm back. This is my comeback arc. Um, if you like what you're seeing so far, I know it's kind of early in the video, but like and subscribe. There should be more traction going on, or if you're new here, go ahead watch all my other videos. Um, I should hopefully also be doing streams soon-ish, maybe? I don't know. Let me let me get past a couple of months of making videos, and then maybe I'll do a stream. Um, but yeah, I think that's kind of just a small little recap on my life. I'm back for the most part. There is a Discord if you want to come follow me, uh, Twitter all of that good stuff uh, and yeah anyway coming up here I'm just trying to add the little bits and pieces uh, to the the satellite to try to make it not a hundred percent because there's no way to make it a hundred percent without me like using mods but as close to the actual in the anime satellite as possible and here we are creating the rocket very simple two-stage rocket um, the top second stage is more of the I don't know how to explain it. Kind of, it's, it's got enough um, delta v to, to circularize the orbit, and then the actual satellite itself has, I think it had something like 18,000 meters a second of uh, of delta v, so it can do quite a bit. But the top stage kind of just finishes off the orbit. The first stage, the core stage, um, is what gets up to just outside the the atmosphere 
a uh, very basic rocket. I, not too much to say. I was gonna go with vector engines. I think you'll see me slap them on there. I have the engine plate, and then I put two nodes, eventually. Goodness, what was I doing here? There we go, two nodes, and then vectors. And I was like, ah, oh, that's a little overpowered. So I, I ended up putting those little swivel guys on there, and then just pushing them in uh, to make it look a little cleaner. And then that's, that's that second stage, like I said, and then just that big old engine and one, one tank there will get her done. And then I try to make it a little SLS-esque minus the two SRBs. And that's more or less it for the rocket. Like I said, very, very s simple rocket. Um, and then it's gonna be a very standard ascent as well. The only thing different we should change over now. There it is. Uh, I had to add fins because it was not very stable once we got up into the thinner bit of the atmosphere. Uh, but, what was I saying? Oh, instead of a regular ascent of us going you know, towards the equator, we're going through what I think is called the prime meridian. When you orbit through the, the poles as well, a polar orbit. Um, so I believe here we are headed south. I can't quite see that now, Paul. But we are headed not in the normal east-west configuration that we normally do. So this does actually require a bit more delta V and a little more, um, a little more fine like controls just because I found it to be quite hard with this rocket it, it wanted to go the normal way um, I just did this again pointless when it comes to game wise but for my fun little head cannon I was actually gonna originally put this up into geocentric orbit well Kerbal centric but I digress because um, I wanted to play around with that and I think it does have enough Delta V to do that but that being said I just thought a polar orbit was more fun. I don't really do too many polar orbits, so I thought this was a fun time to do that. Here we go with the, uh, the stage, stage separation, uh, and then that tiny little first stage. Um, yeah, I don't normally do the polar orbits, so I thought this would be a fun one to do it with. Um, again, no rhyme or reason, it was just a fun thing to do. I'm quite happy with how the rocket attached here. I don't know why I lingered on it so much, but there we go. There goes our second stage um, engines. The nice little panoramic of the first core stage being left behind. And then we're just going to keep going this way until eventually we cross over again, like right meow. Oh no, this is just sped up. Um, we're going to keep going until we circularize, and then eventually we will detach that fairing there's no need to keep it at this point, I just didn't feel like detaching it when I did that core stage uh, separation, so it was just preference. Um, and then we will... I don't believe I fully circularized with the second stage. I detached the, the satellite and then uh, circularized with its own tiny little... Ooh, I think that says 50 or 60,000. Uh, circularized with the tiny little satellites uh, rocket that's on there. So there goes the Farron, and then eventually there will be separation. We're headed south right now, as you can see. So yes, we're headed towards the south pole in this orbit. And then we should have uh, main satellite engine ignition. There it goes. And then we're just going to make sure we circularize. So the first and second stage should burn up in the atmosphere and return back to uh, Kerbin into the ocean. Here we go with the deployment, and look at that. I am, like I said, very chuffed with how it came out. Useless. It's a useless thing, but I'm happy that it came out. Uh, here we are. We I decided to put it into a higher orbit. Um, I think I ended up at like 250,000 meters. Uh, just for did I go that high? I might. I might have. Um, just again for like. It's a really high up satellite, so it uh, it can see a lot. So yeah, I think that's more or less it for the voiceover. I'm gonna leave you guys. There's a couple minutes left here of footage, so just embrace it, enjoy the music and the the vibes. But like I said, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, keep an eye out for more stuff coming. If you like stuff like this, make sure you subscribe so you see that stuff coming. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.